The government may or may not shut down, but Wall Street is definitely growing a little bit more nervous. It's not a panic just yet, but consider what's going on with one of the key measures of fear and volatility. The VIX shot up more than 10% on Monday morning, and that follows a 10% rise on Friday. CNN Money's own fear and greed index is inching closer and closer to extreme fear levels. What does this all mean? I think it just shows that after the stock market hit record highs just two weeks ago after the Fed decided to keep buying bonds at $85 billion a month, now investors realize that, hey, the economy could be in for a bit of a pullback if the government shuts down and if the debt ceiling isn't raised. So Washington, a lot of uncertainty right now. Investors growing a little bit more worried about that. But like I said, it's not a full-blown panic because we're still pretty close to all-time highs. So what's it going to take to maybe snap Washington into doing something? I hate to say it, maybe we need an even more bloody sell-off. Remember that huge, huge drop when TARP was rejected back in 2008? Maybe we need a moment like that so our nation's least and dimmest in Washington can finally wake up and realize that they shouldn't be playing chicken with the economy and stock market.